Now, it's a rare moment when Labor, the Greens and the Nationals all agree on anything. But Australia's big supermarkets right now are in every one of their sites. The big supermarkets are being warned not to hike the price of Christmas ham. In fact, the price of Christmas anything ahead of the festive season. As families grapple with the cost of living, Coles and Woolworths are set to face a Senate inquiry next year to examine their pricing decisions. Julia Bradley has been following this story. Agriculture Minister Murray Watt is calling on Woolworths and Coles to freeze the price of a Christmas ham to allow families to budget and to prevent people from going without. Woolworths and Coles say they're committed to low prices this festive season. The cost of a Christmas ham at Woolworths is as low as $8. They claim that's the lowest price for the staple since 2014. It's the same price at Coles. The supermarkets say other staples, such as sausages and chicken wings, will also be affordable. In a statement, Woolworth says, we know Australians are feeling the strain of cost of living and we're working to deliver relief in their weekly grocery shop. As we start to see the rate of inflation ease, we will continue to focus on delivering savings to our customers. We're committed to offering our customers value while working with our suppliers to sensitively manage economy-wide inflationary pressures. The call from Minister Watt comes as major supermarkets are set to be hauled before a Senate inquiry looking at whether they're price-gouging customers. We've been ripped off for years from Coles and Woolies. Let's, let's be honest, they're like a bloody cartel, and I think everybody knows that. But I think... What I find really shameful to the point this morning is that we've got to run some sort of another inquiry to tell us the same thing when we know very well that if we bulked up the ACCC and give it more powers, we could actually fix this. The number one concern of the public is cost of living and within that, the prices they are charged, especially for essential things. So this will start to get to the bottom of that. New data from Finder shows more than one in ten Australians will turn to credit cards to pay for their Christmas essentials this year. Seven percent will resort to buy now, pay later services and half of consumers will be forced to dip into their savings account. The average Australian is expected to spend just under $1,500 this Christmas on items such as presents, food and alcohol as well as travel.